Yes, yes, yes. What's up, everybody? Funnel here, kicking off the Ableton tutorial thing. As you know, Ableton Live is the most badass choice for making dope beats and rhythms and stuff like that if you're into it. We're gonna take a look at how to use the Ableton drum rack in such fashion that you, you're you gonna be able to change the sounds as, as you're playing your song as you go. So we're gonna start with a drum rack. I've got it here. And I wanna I wanna make a simple beat, but um for that I'm gonna need a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat. I wanna be able to change the sounds as as I go. So here I got some I got some I got some kicks. I want to start by dragging a kick sound on one of the drum rack pads just like this. Then you double click on it and it opens up the sample sampler view. And the sample view is here, but you want to click on the zone tab. You see the sample here, that's the one that you just uh, dragged here. So I'm going to add three more kicks here drag and drop below the sample that you added enter the 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 um just <laughs> hit the button here it's the uh sample select editor so here you have four zones and i'll just do this real quick and i'll explain later what i'm doing um i'm changing the zones that will be used for playing different different kick kick sounds as I go anyways here I have four kicks and as I hit hit the um, as I play it it's super loud because now it's ha now it has four kicks layered on the pad and they all will be playing as I hit the note that's not what I want here I want to be able to change I, I only want to be playing one sound at a time so what I want to do is I hit click this button here to open up the macro view here you got the map mode so you want to map this little thing here the orange thing here it's the sample select ruler click on when you have the map mode on click on this one here then map it here now this this sample select ruler is mapped on one of the knobs here and let's see I'm I'm able to play the kick drums now check this check this out so what it what it does is I can change the value of the knob to change the sound of the kick let's change the value so the knob becomes more useful so you don't just have to be you don't have to be moving it in a very small area so I've got four samples and the numbering goes from 0 to 3 so 0 to 3 and now let's turn this down just a bit because it's pretty loud so now check this out I'm able to change the sound as I go and uh, just to repeat the process, let's do the same thing with snares. I'm gonna drag a snare here, then click on it to get the sampler. Um, enter zone view. Here I have three more snare drums. Drag them below the one that you just added. Enter select view, change the zones. like this then because I have four, four samples it goes from 0 to 3 no actually no you wanna first you wanna map the sample select ruler click on this when you have the map mode on click this first and then click map now it's mapped 
on the knob here. Also change the value here to reflect the number of samples you have on that pad. I've got four samples and the numbering goes from 0 to 3, so 3 it is. Now I can play the snare drum and change it. Let's add a hi-hat just to be able to make a very simple beat. Let's enter the 170 zone because that's the drum and bass thing and everybody knows that drum and bass is the shit. So um, let's make a quick beat just like uh, this and let's listen to it real quick. Well, yeah, I know it sounds pretty dry, pretty dull, pretty boring, but that's not the point here. What I want to show you is now, because I have the rhythm, it's, it's playing. So you're able to change the sounds as, as you're playing the, the beat. So that's pretty handy. and you can add as many sounds as you wish. Just click on the pad sorry for, for missing around. Um, click on the pad damn and on the zone you just add samples um, edit the zone one per each map the sele sample select, the select ruler on a knob and there you go. Well, that's, that's it for now. I will be doing more of this kind of stuff in the future. I hope you liked it. If you have anything to ask, just post a question on YouTube or send me an email to funnel at funnymusic.com. So, make some beats, get some coffee, enjoy life, feel like a boss. Peace out.